What's up, it's John from Fedora Lifestyle. So Spider-Man was one of the first characters I learned to draw, and today I'm gonna to show you how to draw him too. Before getting started, please subscribe for more art and drawing tutorials. I've received lots of requests for black suit Spider-Man, so that's what we'll do this time. Start with an oval with an eye line and a nose line just to the right of center. Next, draw the shape of the chest and shoulders, followed by a narrow curve for the stomach. The torso should be almost the height of two heads. Then split the upper section for the shoulders, and for the right arm, draw a circle for the shoulder, a section for the biceps and triceps, the forearm, which should appear longer because of foreshortening, and a square for the back of the hand. For the legs, I started with a curve for the left thigh, then a circle for the right knee. You'll notice I'm just working on placement and proportion, not details. Then back to the left leg, draw a circle for the knee and a downward curve for the calf. Feet can be tough, so take your time. Note he's sitting on the balls of his feet, so his feet should flatten out a bit at the end. Now mirror the shape of the left foot for the right foot and move on to the hand. Okay, we all know hands are tough. I had to redraw the hand a few times to get it right. Just take your time and draw lightly. Moving to the left arm, it's actually a very simple three-shape construction. Just be mindful of foreshortening. The left arm should be drawn much shorter than the right. Also note that only the thumb and index finger show at this angle. For the symbol on the chest, I started with the center of the spider, which should bend with the curve of the body. Then draw each of the legs, which really don't need to be perfect. We can only see the top two legs on each side. And finally, the eyes. I like to draw in top and bottom guidelines to make sure they align with the initial eye line. Say that three times. Now erase everything, we're making progress. Before moving on, the tip to shading a black object is emphasizing highlights. Take these two black spheres. The left one is shaded completely dark and it looks completely flat. The one on the right, on the other hand, has visible highlights on both sides, making it a more believable 3D object. So that's what we'll do with Spider-Man. Imagine there are light sources on the left and the right, so lightly shade down the center of each body part. The center of the face, the center of the arm, the center of the torso. Then draw a really dark, clean outline around everything. Then with the point of your pencil, repeat the step of shading down the center of each body part, but with a really dark shadow. Shadow. By doing so, we are establishing the core shadows, or darkest shadows, on the subject. Just keep those left and right light sources in mind as you're shading. Okay, this is the slowest but most important part. With a lighter grip on the pencil, shade a mid-tone between the dark core shadows and the highlighted edge of each limb. This step will vary for each artist. For instance, you may decide to shade more of the hand than I did, which is fine. There is no right or wrong way. And with that, you're done. Please subscribe, like, and share.